This is Halloween. Hi Aries, how are you? If you're new, how welcome? My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free one. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that worlds could be reversed in between energies. We got two cards right away. I want to remind you that my readings are general, so feel free to take or leave whatever you want from today's reading. So we got the Queen of Wands. In the reverse, the Page of Swords. In the reverse, we have the Nine of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Five of Cups in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles, the Empress in the reverse, and please over all energy. We got the Lovers, which is Gemini energy. We got right away the Judgment card. So we got Gemini energy. We got Libra energy. We got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and Libra energy. Now, what's going on here? So I do see right here that this could be a general feeling of like being betrayed by someone. Feeling that sometimes people waste your time and feeling a little bit, a lot annoyed and like that you wasted your time as well as this could be specifically as, some, as someone. So it depends on where you're at, but the feeling is the same. I do see that those these feelings, regardless of how you know present or how past they could be, I do see that this was brought to you by someone who you thought it was the one. This could be somebody you married, somebody you dated. Or simply somebody that you thought you were gonna get there. I do see that luck. I do see luck in the romantic sense hasn't been there as you were hoping. It seems like it's getting harder to find someone who wants something serious nowadays, and I must agree on that. People nowadays don't seem to want to date, and I can I can tell you that. But it seems right here that even though that you could be feeling sad, disappointed feeling unlucky it tells you that that's going to change even when you're not expecting it this is a gemini with the energy of the lovers this is a soulmate who you will encounter it seems like this person and you work together or will be working together the, if this does not resonate this could be either or they visit your visiting your job by coincidence fate or you could visit their job by coincidence or fate. Some of you, this person is a fire, a firefighter. Others of you, this person could be a police, a policeman, policewoman. As well as some of you, this person could be the mailman or the mailwoman. <laughs> you know. There is a new opportunity of love for you coming by the end of 2023. Somebody who is completely new and out of nowhere becomes very significant in your life. This is the person you're going to create a family with. Now, this could be because you already have kids or they could also have kids. It doesn't mean that you guys will have kids together because, of course, having kids is a personal choice and, you know, other choices that, you know, it's totally personal. So take that part of like kids in the best way that could resonate with you. Now, overall, this is the person that towards the end of 2023 you meet. Um, and it seems like since January down, you guys will start a relationship and it's going to be long lasting for what it seems like. With the Six of Pentacles and the reverse right here, this person could, again, this person could have kids potentially. I do see the big possibility of them giving child support. So they're really responsible. Um... It does seem that they're very responsible, okay? So now, I do see that this person could be divorced, okay? And they have a toxic baby daddy or baby mama, by the way. But with the three of ones right here, it says right here that if you are the jealous kind, don't be. Because this person is not interested in their ex. They're just forced to deal with them because of child, their child that they could have together. Can we clarify this? What else is coming for them? I do see where the Ten of Wands and the King of Pentacles that the difficulties that you could be facing right now in money and love is going to come to an end. Because we have this energy of somebody who could be a little older than you, but also somebody who has their life together overall. Somebody who has a good job. 
this person could be a supervisor this person could be either or your supervisor <laughs> uh maybe an hr maybe like i don't know high above like high up right uh in position and in, in work overall if it's not that this person could have their own business but i do see this person making good decent money and i do see this person having a very uh overall an important job and also being older than you the three of pentacles and reverse you may feel at the moment that you meet and maybe hear that they have an interest in you you may say ah i don't know i never pictured myself with somebody like that or you may say it may not work you know maybe they're uh, like not your usual type as well this could be as well but even though that you may not feel the connection and attraction right away this person is going to win your heart and they're going to be everything you ever wanted trust me the two of cups in the reverse you may be in the opposite like in the opposition before because maybe whenever they showed up in your life you are saying you know what i'm done with love i'm gonna stay single i'm gonna enjoy life if everybody like they don't they don't deserve my time so they could show up in your life around that time around that month or that you're feeling like that that you feel like you're done with people planes and you may feel like that because you you may like oh i'm done with people but then they show up in your life and then make you maybe consider all those ideas and all those words that you once said they're not the kind of energy that forces anything they do understand that you know that if you need time they just want to get get to get a chance to get to know you to you get to know them and it does seem right here that this person really, really conquers your heart. With the Ace of Wands right here, I do see, uh, you know, the intimate life being very good. Uh, you're going to be very pleased, just so you know, with this person. I do see some of your family members, perhaps some friends of yours with cancer energy here may say, hey, I don't know why you like this person. Like they're not going to be thrilled about it because of the age gap, most likely. But it does seem right here that this person is good. This person can give you everything you ever wanted uh, because you're younger than this person. Allegedly, people are going to say, oh, you're a gold digger, like some people on their side. So there's going to be a lot of like, I don't know, third party like commenters here. But they want to remind you that the relationship is about you and them and you should not listen to anybody else. But a lot of people are going to be like in the op uh, in opposition. Again, everybody has the right to have opinions, but you have the final say in this connection. And I do see like you could be very happy here. I do see this person pampering you, taking care of you emotionally, physically treating you like royalty. You will never be there's never going to be a day that you're going to be unhappy. And if you recently, I do see some of you could work in retail. Not all of you, some of you. And some of you really work in retail and you don't like the job. They're going to get you out of there. Let me tell you that. And now I have people who have this energy of like, nobody, people don't have to take care of others, babe. If you want to be a cheap steak, go ahead. You can do that and you can find people who are mind like, like you, right? But somebody who is willingly wanting to take care of somebody else because they love is not because they can't they clearly can so you stay on your budget right and obviously the person that aries is going to encounter is somebody who is not afraid of investing is not afraid of taking care of the person they love if you can't agree on that again keep your partners in your budget in the mentality you want them to be don't go it's for me, for example, it's me going with $20 to Tiffany's expecting to get anything, okay? You, I can go with $20 to Walmart. I cannot go to Tiffany's. So make sure to go where you can fetch. But don't be an outsider and say you shouldn't be doing that because clearly there is this budget for everything. So whoever Aries is going to encounter is somebody who is not afraid of investing in Aries. Scorpio energy. I do see um, the tower moment and the magician in here. It's just because a lot of people are going to have a lot to say. I do see a lot of people like whispering and being mad about this, commenting negative things. But guess what? You meeting your one. I do see like you become a wife, you're a hubby eventually. 
and it's the marriage the first you guys are gonna have two weddings the first wedding is gonna be uh by court so you know the law the basic one and the second and the second wedding is the one that some of you really want it which is perhaps the celebration in the church if it's not in the church is the big celebration in general just to have the ceremony you know and i do see a lot of you are not going to invite a lot of your family members or friends because they're just negative people i will say finally they want you to know to not listen to third parties remember that relationships about two people not four and they want you to never ignore your intuition i do feel that you feel feel that this is the one for you i do feel that you feel fully emotionally supported and you do find this person attractive and they want you to whatever decision you make if you go for it or not do not end the relationship or connection just because somebody else tells you script your energies because you could literally regret this forever so when this person shows up in your life uh do not end it just because somebody else is telling you otherwise if you go for it or not make sure that comes from from you i do see your financial stability getting better i do see like most likely you won't even need to work a day if you didn't want to because this person has enough money to take care of everybody including their kids if they have any and yours if you have any so at this point it says right here that it is coming a new beginning for you it's coming and it comes out of nowhere it comes from something so small and it becomes somebody so important and the seven of ones right here in the reverse is something that you don't have to fight often or sometimes you could have felt that you had to force yourself to like somebody or whenever you encounter somebody there's like multiple things happening and you're like oh my gosh like i like them but this is happening that is happening so with this person here it says and it, and it shows that everything works organically that everything works how it should work you know like it happens so simple and sometimes that's why we can get scared because the connection feels so simple and, it sh and sometimes we think it shouldn't so overall, whatever you decide, make sure that it's not based on a tarot reading or not based on person's opinions because at the end of the day is your life and you have the last say. I always say it in all my readings. So finally, with the astrological dice, this is going to give the overall energy of the situation. Uh, we got the planet, which is a representation of the situation. You got the sun and it says pertaining to oneself, core values, personal identity, ego, self-image. Now we're going to go with the zodiac signs here this represents the emotional side and you got scorpio energy and it says transformative brutally honest aggressive taking things personally exhausted and finally we have the um houses which is the area of life and you have the seventh house and it says represents partnership personal or business a new person in your life may become significant can relate to contracts marriage divorce or matters of the law so with this said Aries, this is the end of your reading. I hope you liked it. Please do not do not forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what kind of readings you want me to do next. And whenever I got a chance, I'll do it. I want to also invite you to follow me on Instagram. I tend to follow back. I also am on TikTok. I do short readings over there. You can also find me on Spotify. I do weekly podcasts about personal and spiritual readings in English and Spanish. I also do some tarot stuff over there. Um, if you don't have Instagram, I do have an Inst a Facebook group. Um, I'm not as active over there, but if you were to want to contact me, you can also do that. Um, I'm also moving a little bit to Twitch into where I'm going to start doing some lives over there that I cannot do here due to guidelines. And finally, if you want to get a personal reading with me, I do offer them. You want to actually book directly online. That's the only way you can book. The link is always going to be in the description box below on every video. As well, if it's easier, you can actually go to my Instagram and on the bio, you're going to find the links to all my socials, including the website for appointments. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for the love and support and have an amazing day. <laughs>